honor for me to always get to just share my story with you all because really, never in my life, through all the things that I've ever done, has there been a more extraordinary opportunity ever either presented to me or that I've ever even known about. And so while I am truly delighted to get to be one of the perpetrators for this company and share with you on your journeys to success all that I can possibly contribute, I want you to understand what would help me do so. Now Scott alluded to that you know my story is um, compelling to say the least. Some of you have heard it so I get to hear it again. And for those of you that haven't, take it in. Like really take it in because I am walking, talking, living proof that change is possible and that you truly can have anything you set your sign to. Now for me, yes, you've heard the later part of my story and the successes and the things that I've been blessed with. And truly, by the grace of God, and all glory goes to him that I'm even here today to tell it. For me, my story started somewhat tragically. I was a healthy, tall, lean child, great parents, but I was molested at age eight. And it was a typical victim story. My sister, who's 11, half sister, who's 11 years older than myself, a friend of hers, pinned me in the kitchen wall one day and decided to take my life away as I found it. And that happened on several occasions thereafter until it just couldn't happen anymore because I became so cocooned. But at that age, you're not equipped to handle any kind of trauma. And so for me, the drug of choice at age eight was to eat. And so food became my medication of choice. And within six months, I ballooned to a morbidly obese child. Now my parents never really caught on as to why, and they just figured, because I'm Cuban Italian, they just love you with food, they just assumed that I was just a baby, go ahead and eat. But I was medicating. And while today there's a huge campaign against anti-bullying, with the anti-bullying campaigns, which is very necessary, the truth is, is that when I was a little girl, there was lots of bullying going on too. And so children can be, at times, some of the cruelest little people on the planet. And that compounded the problem for me, one that led all the way through my adolescence. Now that photo of me with blonde hair, really bad. I don't do blonde well at all. <laughs> I'm only 19. I've actually sliced that picture to pictures of me today, and I actually look younger and better today, I think, than I did when I was only 19 years old. But I was trapped in a world of hurt, because the problem compounded. And as I got through junior high and in my first 10 weeks of high school, I was raped. And that just made a bad situation worse. And I came home one day without telling my mother what had happened. And I simply declared that's it, I was done. I wasn't going back to high school. I quit. That was a smart girl. I did well in school. And she thought, what in the world? I said, you're going to have to figure this out. I'm not going back. So God bless her. She challenged the Board of Education, and I went on to college which now I feel equipped to be dealing with grown-ups in college. And so the story is, and I say this to you, is because it doesn't matter where you've been. It does not matter what's happened. It's not to discount it, but it's over with. It's only real in your mind today. You can only tell it. You can't relive it. You can't show it to me. It's a story at this point. And you can choose to be free of it, and you can choose to rise above, because regardless of where you've been, what really matters is where you want to go. Well, I made that decision the day that my mother died in front of me, choking on her own blood from congestive heart failure. By then, I'd already completed nursing school, so I had lots of textbook knowledge. I just hadn't been able to deal with the demons within that haunted me. But in that moment, her physician looked at me and said, this is you, Carla, in five years. Get it together. And my mother's literally taking her last breath. So I cocooned, and I went underground, and I went on to create a program for myself that would allow me to eat real food, live real life, including alcohol, exercising at best 10 minutes a day, because I wasn't a fan of sweating then, and I'm not one today either. But I knew that I didn't want to diet. I'd done every diet, wasn't going to do it. But I did want to be healthy, and I wanted to look good in my own skin. And so I created what was later known in the marketplace as Coach Carla Weight Loss. Well, that program served me very, very well. It completely transformed my life. In under nine months, the media pegged it as from supersized to supermodel in less time than it takes to have a baby, because in under nine months, I lost 135 pounds. Right? Thank you. Let me tell you something. Losing weight is challenging. Keeping it up 
much more. But I mastered on how to do it. And I went on to live an extraordinary life. And in doing so, I decided that my passion, my true passion was to help people become unstuck. So whether it was alcohol, drugs, food, it didn't matter to me. I knew that people are sometimes trapped in a world of hurt, and you don't have to be. But sometimes you need a little help and support along the way. And for whatever the reason, God was so gracious to me that I figured it out. And so it became my life's work and passion to help every single person who ever struggled with any of these vices to go on to know more so they could do more and have more. And so my career developed quite fabulously. And I thought I'd have an extraordinary life helping tens of thousands of people to do the same. So much so that it led to my meeting some remarkable people, having some great successes that ultimately led to my retirement back in early 2011, right after I'd had the coup d'etat for me, which, you know, on our bucket list, we have all kinds of things we want to accomplish. And for me, one of them certainly was the privilege of getting to meet over, and I didn't get to do that. And from there, my life just forever changed, and I retired. So now, back it up about a year ago, Logan first called me to tell me that he was doing something, and at the time, I really wasn't open to anything. I was enjoying my new retirement, and I let it go. But then fast forward, I was getting a facial, and my esthetician mentioned to me about idealized that somebody had said something to her, and I thought, I'm not with Logan's company. So I sent him a text. He responded right away, and met me for dinner that very evening. And I sat there for about four hours, listening to his vision and his passion listening to about the company, and went to his home the next day, got to try the products, and in that moment, for the first time in my career, over a 20-year, very public career, I have never endorsed, promoted, supported, or even recommended any product, not a protein bar, not a protein shake, not a nutritional anything, because I was never satisfied with the product being truly what I felt it needed to be. That's not to say there weren't some great products presented to me, just nothing that I would attach myself to until today. ID Life is the first time ever that I've ever promoted, spoken about, or endorsed. And let me tell you something, I do it with 100% passion because it is the best of the best. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. And so for me, it is a tremendous honor and privilege to get to work with each and every one of you to watch you guys really change and grow. I've already seen so much growth in so many. On my own team, Jennifer's team, and by the way, wasn't Jennifer's presentation amazing? Rockstar, I've never marked them right there. But it's such a delight to see people reach for more and want more, transforming their bodies, transforming their insides, growing confident and realizing that little successes will lead them to big successes. And I'm here to tell you as someone who has been blessed and had massive, well-documented success, this thing, without question, will be my legacy out. It's my grand finale, but this is going to be that because this is truly the most extraordinary opportunity in the marketplace, most extraordinary opportunity presented to me, and the one that's going to help each and every one of you truly live your best life. So I say, get to ID Revolution, get to work, work for a year, and coast for the rest of your life. God bless you.